And I'm going to do some poems for y'all. Thank you. From my book of poetry. I like the way, like, like when you watch TV and see somebody be talking about proper. And it's going to be the second poem called, I won't do that. OK, we're going to have some fun. My book is entitled, Don't Beat Your Children or They'll Turn Out Like Me. No. <laughs> <laughs> my other book is entitled, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. Because where I'm from, they got corner stores in the middle of the block. <laughs> One second. I got some, some poems Okay, I want to hear the short ones or the poems first. All of the it. poems. I got a poem that goes, uh, uh, street protocol. Y'all need, y'all need this? Maybe. Give me that. Do you need it? Nah. I be on the train doing this. People like that think I got a job. I do have a job. I get on the train every day with an arm full of books, and I don't come home till I get rid of them. I'd be like, as a matter of fact, I'm going to carry my books or recite my poems so y'all can get a feel of how I do this. <laughs> this is how I do it every day, literally, seriously. I'd be like, if you like to read poetry, ladies and gentlemen, you might enjoy my book. This is my book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. And to give you a poem from it, I got one that goes, Street protocol has me on the wrong side of the law, and New York City feels like the land of God. I come from nothing but nowhere to go, so what can the government take from me when I ain't got shit? I got a bunch of clothes, bad credit, and my big mouth is always getting me in trouble. But check it, even if I was walking backwards, it would be still considered a step in the right direction. I'm from where they got bulletproof corner stores, and they never <laughs> stop to take a breath, and you can catch a contact from the gun smoke. I come from a place with a scent of road spray still gets me homesick. It was 212. That's right. It was 212 West 129th Street. That's where the needle skipped on the family that broke the record for all those times the mice left holes in the loaf of the bread while the roaches played dead like raisins and they were backstroking in my bowl of cereal. I had a good stomach back then. It was them days of free sex, good pussy had a price, and cold chilling was an understatement. And we used to get dressed up just to go to bed. We were wrapped under blankets and coats and then you wake up sweating from a cat crying in heat. And then by the time you're two or three, you're like numb to this noise. And if you move down south, the silence would give you insomnia. And this all took place when Harlem was an armpit. It was right before gentrification gave it a facelift. That's when the middle class never came past 59th Street and there was a seat. We were sitting around a lit cigarette that served as light and heat, and we were like survivors of lead paint poison and secondhand smoke. It felt like we were serving time for killing time. Fuck sheep. We was counting pit bulls in our sleep. You might even see a blind man get into a fist fight for looking at somebody the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs>